Joe initially pointed it out, thinking that there was possibly a dead whale on the horizon. And, you know, we kind of kept an eye on it. It ended up looking a lot more like a boat that had capsized. And he mentioned uh, almost immediately after, you know, recognizing that, that there seemed to be a pair of hands waving. And that triggered the response. In talking to him, we found out a lot more details about uh, how serious and dire the situation really was. Um, prior to us arriving, he had been on um, the hull for about an hour adrift, you know, and he was drifting southeast, um, essentially away from land, away from boats, um, getting further and further away. And he kind of detailed for us what had happened, which was, you know, a larger wave broke the stern of his boat and was able to you know, flip his boat essentially. And he was in the water, you know, quickly and didn't have time to grab a life vest or his phone. He said he had, you know, attempted to flag down three different boats that had passed by him and none of them saw him. And at this time of the year, you know, we were losing daylight fast. So, you know, us arriving at that time, it really was a right place, right time scenario. I don't know what Sea Tone do, you know? I mean, it's... Well.